What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Vegans, man, you guys have it on hard mode. It is really hard to gain muscle as a vegan, and data is now showing us why. And the bottom line is total quantity of protein matters, but the quality of the protein matters as well. So you've been told, right? We saw the movie Game Changers. Vegans can gain muscle just as easily, just as well as non-vegans. Well, not really. A new study just dropped. And it kind of turns that idea right on its head. If you're plant-based or even considering this, let's watch this video. But before we go on, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on notification bell, and go to tigerfitness.com. That's tigerfitness.com. 10% off everything on the site coupon code MAHA. M-A-H-A, MAHA gets 10% off the entire site. So we're diving into a controversial topic. Now, back in the 2010s, everybody was going vegan, man. That Game Changers movie turned everybody on their head. In fact, I had death threats from vegans for simply eating meat on camera. I'm not even playing. It's controversial. But can you actually build muscle effectively on a vegan diet? The answer is yes. My buddy, Barbarian Hawk, he is a vegan natural bodybuilder. Natural. Dude dominates at natural shows and almost got his pro card in the IFBB. In fact, I think he will get his pro card in the next couple years. Okay, this guy's awesome. So it can be done, but this dude does everything right. So can you build muscle on this diet? Ah, it's all about the amino acids. So let's go on to it. This study was just published, okay? 193 vegans were analyzed, and not only how much protein they ate, but also whether they were hitting the amino acid targets. They're essential amino acid targets. Now, essential amino acids, there are nine of them. Of those nine, three of those essential amino acids are the branched chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So 75% of those participants hit their recommended protein intake, which is pretty low. I'm sure they're not going by the ISSN gram per pound, but less than half of them met their targets for key amino acids like lysine and leucine. Now, leucine is the anabolic trigger, you might call it. So by not hitting leucine especially, you're, you're not in a good place, right? And that's what separates the amino acid profile of a whey and a plant protein. Mainly is the leucine. I'll, I'll include the isoleucine and valine as well in there. Okay, so here's the thing. that, that That's the muscle, muscle growth and repair. Those are huge for that. So leucine is the trigger for MPS. And it's that switch that flips the muscle building process on. With a not, without enough of it, your body doesn't grow optimally, no matter how many grams of protein you're hitting. You need that leucine. You need complete amino acids. So here's why it matters. You know, eggs, beef, chicken, whey, those are complete amino acid profiles, complete proteins. They contain all the amino acids in the right ratios to help you build muscle. Most plant proteins aren't. Tofu, all that stuff, eh. What was that stuff called, man? What was that, Satan, Satan, whatever? It tastes like Satan. Tastes like Satan made it, but I think it's called Satan. So bottom line is, <laughs> they're, they're low in things like lysine, leucine, methionine. That means your body can't use them as efficiently for muscle building, growth, and repair. So that doesn't mean you can't build muscle as a vegan, but like my man, Barbarian Hawk, it's not his real name. I, I know his real name. But he gets mad when I say, I call him his real name. I'm like his mother at this point. Look, the bottom line is you have to be strategic. So if you're plant-based, here's what you do. Combine complementary protein like rice and beans or brown rice and pea or rice and pea. That's a good blend. Okay. Consider supplementations. Okay. So if you get amino acids like ambrosia hydroglyph, MTS Jewish machine fuel, those are vegan BCAs. They're ferment, fermented BCAs, fermentation from glucose. So no, no animal products involved. You can supplement with those. You can have higher leucine plant sources like soy, lentils, peanuts. Soy, a lot of people are scared of. I'm not, I still don't think you should eat an abundance of it. So another option is what if you combine brown rice, pea, and you actually added the branched chain amino acids and you spiked the protein, the amino acid profile while not counting that in the protein count because that's amino spiking. Ambrosia planta does that. 
Ambrosia planta has brown rice and pea and sunflower. Plus, we have these beautiful amino acids to make the amino acid profile perfect for you. But if you don't want to buy planta, that's fine. There are ways around it, but that's the easy thing. Hawk, dude, he's, he's having that for like four of his protein servings a day. So that's why he's making the gains. I'm saying there are other ways to do it, but we have the cheat code. But the bottom line is the study is pretty clear. Pretty clear. Vegans aren't getting enough amino, amino acids they need. So bottom line. If you're vegan and you're training hard, you're already playing the game on hard mode. You have to focus on supplementation, vitamin D, vitamin B12. Those are lacking in a vegan diet. But remember, total protein matters. It's the amino acid profile, amino acid quality that matters more. So you need to get those amino acids in. So don't leave those gains on the table and definitely don't become catabolic. And for my non-vegan homies, don't take your steak and eggs for granted, dude. Animal proteins still dominate when it comes to the hierarchy of protein. So if you're eating meat, you're good to go. Me, I personally drink about six scoops of ambrosia planta a day. I'll usually sip it between my meals. I usually keep it right here in my shaker cup. Got a little cookies and cream in that bad boy right there. And um, I'm good to go. But let me know your thoughts. If you're a vegan, does this help you? If you're not a vegan, does this help you? Have you ever been a vegan and you didn't make gains? Do you think maybe if you listened to this video before you became a vegan, you would have made gains? Anyway, I have low self-esteem. So I need you guys to like this video because it makes me feel good. Comment down below. I don't care what you say. Just comment something. Say Mark has a big nose. Say Mark has small arms. Mark has small calves. Mark yells in the microphone too much. Mark has rusty fenders on his bicycle. Whatever you want to say, say it down below and go to tigerfitness.com. Support us, please. Tigerfitness.com, coupon code MAHA, save 10%. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Mark Globiner. Appreciate you guys. Again, I love you. If you need to get a hold of me, Mark, M-A-R-C at tigerfitness.com. Comment down below. I do my best to respond to every comment. I'm Mark Globiner. That is not a game. If you're like me, you have trouble getting in a gram of protein per pound of body weight. It's a lot. For me, I weigh over 210 pounds. That's a lot of protein. So one hack I have is to drink protein throughout the day, just like I would drink water, but basically I just mix a shaker, couple scoops of planta, that's 40 grams of protein, it's 20 grams per scoop, and I'm good to go. So here's what I do in the morning. So I make, instead of just normal coffee, I make delicious coffee. So first thing you do is you just pour a little bit of coffee on the bottom, just to kind of separate it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Then you take your planta, rip open a bag. This is the melted chocolate. It's delicious, tastes amazing, amazing in coffee. And this one is all natural. No artificial sweeteners or flavors. Come in, boom, one scoop. Two scoops, and then you take the coffee right here, fill up the rest. And I'm going to show you how it doesn't explode. So when you have hot liquids, it can definitely explode. The cup can explode. So you put it in, give it a little shake, burp it. Give it a little shake, burp it. Now you're free to shake it up. Just make sure. And you are good to go. Mm. That is better than any coffee you will have at any coffee house you can go to. So, so delicious. Any flavor works, but I really like the melted chocolate. Anyway, try this out, and then throughout the day, I'll have two more shakes. For three shakes, that gets me up to 120 grams of protein. So if you wanna go a little bit higher, like 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, I'm good to go. And we've made it even easier to find Planta nationwide. We are available at GNC. We are the number one plant protein at the vitamin shop. We are in Meyer. That's right, Meyer this month and soon this summer, we are coming to your local Walgreens. And don't forget about our favorites, Hy-Vee out there in the Midwest. Anyway, guys, this is my way to get an extra protein throughout the day. Mm, that's so good. And with Planta, you don't have to worry about stomach upset. It is dairy-free, lactose-free, and amazing. Plus, 
we have the added amino acids. So the amino acid profile is closer to that of a whey protein than that of your normal plant protein. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully this helps you reach your protein goals. Enjoy your planta. Have a great day.